हेलो एवरीवन सो आई होप यू ऑलरेडी वॉच द पार्ट नंबर फोर आई थिंक सो नाउ व्हाट वी विल डू वी विल कंटिन्यू द पार्ट नंबर व्हाट वी कैन से फाइव सो व्हाट वी नीड टू डू हियर इफ यू रिमेंबर लेट मी शो यू द नोट इन द नोट वी आर डूइंग द कॉन्फ़िगरेशन सो इन अवर प्रीवियस पार्ट वी डन दिस कॉन्फ़िगरेशन इन द स्विच वन If you see, we configured this as a trunk, and we do here we land ten and twenty. Okay, and we put this port here. So now, what we need to do in this router, we need to do the sub interface, and we need to enable the DSCP server, so we can get the IP from the DSCP here, and we need to enable the OSPF under this sub interface. Okay, and same thing we need to do everywhere here. so let's do here what we will do here if you see this is the router r1 so i will go to r1 okay this is r2 we can say and this is the r1 okay this is the r1 so here i need to remove the ip from this interface f1 by 0 i already shared this configuration and notepad in our telegram channel and this lab file also if you need you can go and download there now we are going to modify okay now we are going to modify this so as i told you all you can look our telegram channel whatever we done till now we share in that one in our telegram channel now we are going to modify the configuration so later you will get the updated file okay so if you need the current file you can download from there maybe after one day you will get this file also in the telegram channel so now i am here in the r1 i need to remove this ip so if you see which interface f1 by 0 in this interface i will go i will write here no ip address okay here i can put here like this or let me write here no ip address no ip address okay after that i will do sub interface so what i will do here we have the vlan 10 and 20 so i will write interface f1/0 okay and then dot 10 encapsulation dot 1q encapsulation dot 1q vlan number we need to give then you need to assign the ip whatever the gateway you plan for this one Like one ninety two one sixty eight ten dot one, give space two five five dot two five five dot zero. Okay, whatever the gateway you plan here. Example, you are using here VLAN ten and VLAN twenty. So if you want, I can write here like gate for VLAN ten one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot ten dot one for VLAN. Twenty gateway. I will write one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot twenty dot one. Okay, this is for VLAN ten, and that is just I wrote here. So in case if you want to refer, you can refer later. So what I will do here, we will do this configuration here. So I will go inside this router. If you see. i will go in the global configuration mode i will write here interface f1/0 i will write here no ip address no shut then i will go here i will write interface f1/0.1 okay dot 10 for uh, vlan 10 then encapsulation dot 1q and vlan tag vlan number you need to give after that i will give the ip that will be the gateway for our vlan so this one i am doing here and same thing you need to do for vlan 20 because in this interface we have vlan 1 and vlan 20 okay ip address 192.168.20.1 give space 255.255.255.0 okay encapsulation i forget so write encapsulation.1q vlan tag and put that ip address here so i done here for this two interface you can save the configuration if you want to check right do show ip interface brief and check here 
okay we need to remove here i forget i think to remove so let me go here and do that one interface f0 by 0 no ip address then interface sorry ah, okay i remove wrong ip i remove wrong ip let me add again i should not remove for that interface 192.168.12.1 should be there because we are not using that interface okay i assign there just save the configuration one minute okay so now let's see here show ip interface brief so this one don't do anything f0 by 0 f1 by 0 by mistake i remove just now this so these two leave as it is okay these two you need to look so if you see interface f1 by this one this is for VLAN 10 and this is for VLAN 20. Okay, so we will keep like this. What else we have here? I can write do show IP interface brief. This no, this just now we check. Now we need to create the pool also and we need to enable the OSPF also. So what I will do, I need to enable the OSPF. So I will go under the interface F. What is that interface? F1 slash 0 dot 10. I will write here IP OSPF 1 area 0 because we are using area 0 only then interface f1 slash 0 dot 20 and then here also i will enable the ospf so i done the ospf now what we need to do we need to do the dscp configuration i will write ip pool ip dscp pool for vlan 10 so i will write here vlan 10 then network what is the vlan 10 network i will give here 10 dot 1 give space 255.255.255.0 and what else default i default default router will be 192 168 1.1 1 .1, okay sorry not 1.1 10.1 clear or any confusion this one what we can say i am enabling the dscp for the vlan 10 and i can do the same thing ip dscp pool for vlan 20 we should not give the space here just i am writing the number here vlan 20 vlan 10 you can give any number here after that i will write network 192.168.20.20.0 here i done the mistake we need to put the network id okay so let me correct and there also we have some issue we need to correct there also so we will correct there also where means inside the other pool ip dscp pool vlan 10 here i need to correct i will write no and this one because we need to write the network id here i wrote complete ip so i will write this no then we will add there so i delete this then after that what we need to do here this should be 